Things aren't going your way Doesn't seem to be your day I just can't win Come on, little guy, it's time to shine Come to show this pizza, leave it all behind Now come down, get him in Yeah, you're gonna win I win, I win, I win this pizza I feel like a new man Where a kid can be a kid Imagine me and you, and you and me, together eating golden grams, so happily, that crispy gram and honey taste was meant to be, so happy together. Got a secret treasure to keep safe? You can keep it in a keeper. Keepers, keepers, what's inside those keepers? Fancy the snail, Tango the ladybug, and Sheldon the turtle are keepers. Fun friends with a secret hiding place, each sold separately. And each keeper comes with its own finder, Twist, Nightlight, and Footloose. Keepers, keepers, keep it safe inside. Fancy and Footloose, Tango and Twist, Sheldon and Nightlight, each sold separately with brush key and storybooks from Tonka. Quest League to Danielson's hometown. It's become a roller coaster ride of fears. Will he triumph over his worst nightmare? off that boat, even if fishing did pay our way to New York Harbor. Move a little to the left, Daniel. You're blocking the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> daniel son carry torch for Miss Liberty. Look! Warehouse 207. That is the one that's supposed to have the antique shipment. Daniel, I hope the shrine is among them. Where are you going, Buster? The warehouse is off limits. The excuse, please. My mistake. Mr. Miyagi, we can't give up that easy. We've got to get inside. Uh, I never want to see another fish as long as I live. Daniel, give Miyagi an idea. Oh, no. I hope you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Not funny, Taki. Miyagi think something fishy going on. No antiques in here, only Albaco. But I know the shipping company said Warehouse 207. Right warehouse, wrong day. All the antiques were delivered to the stores on this list two days ago. Mr. Miyagi, we must hurry before someone buys the shrine. 
Hey, some of these stores are in Jersey, where I used to live. Only time to cover stores in New York before close. Go Jersey tomorrow. Why not tonight? My old friend Papa Tony will put us up. Come on! Shrine not in New York. Maybe have better luck in Jersey. Yeah, it's gonna be great to see the old gang again. Daniel's son changed much since leave home. Maybe friends change too. Did you do that? Very quickly. Let go of my purse! Oh. Forget her! Come on! Busy day in big city. The ways make living. Return first, please. You're lucky I'm in a hurry, old man. Show your face, thief. <laughs> Tina? <laughs> Get away from me, mister. Hey. Mm. <clears throat> Oro King. Whoa! <laughs> Are you a cop? No. Stopping purse snappers. Just for me. Look, Daniel. I got a picture from Lady Thief. What's wrong, Daniel? Nothing. Just someone I thought I knew. If you hadn't stopped to help that lady, we wouldn't have come up empty. Next time, don't do it. Next time? This was supposed to be the last time, Brick. Another few hundred bucks and my bike will be ready to race. Then I'll make some real money. Stupid a truck. I'd be better off with a Jersey cow. Papa Tony! Ouch! It's about time you got here, boy. I got a pizza to deliver. Daniel, what are you doing back from California? Uh, just visiting with my friends. I'm Taki. This is Mr. Miyagi. I thought he was my delivery boy. He's a late again. Is it the same route I used to do for you, Papa Tony? Then Mr. Miyagi and I'll do the deliveries. Just give us room and board for the night. You got a deal. These rolls are delicious, Mr. Tony. Why are you keeping your restaurant such a secret? I'm saving up to make it bigger. I got a little money stashed in a safer place. <laughs> You've been saying that for years. Drive careful, Daniel. I got a honeybees in the back. That's the secret to Papa Tony's rolls, Mr. Miyagi. He makes his own honey. Miyagi hear much in Daniel-san's silence. Maybe think about girls in Subway? Gee, can't a guy even think in private? Okay, I was thinking that you were right, Mr. Miyagi. Things do change. I can't believe Tina's a thief. You are saying Daniel-san? Well, I took Tina to Palisades Park on our first date. We were getting on the roller coaster when this bully brick muscled in on me. Daniel afraid of brick? Afraid? Are you kidding? No way! Oh, oh no! The bees! Be calm. Focus, Daniel. Everyone have fear. Secret. Not let them control you. That's one way to get rid of bees. Daniel, what happened to you? You've been gone three hours. 
Taki, don't ask. Dinner is served. Taki's idea. Sushi pizza. Uh, I'll pass. I'm going down to Palisades Park to see if the guys still hang out there on Saturdays. Tina. Ah! You started taking karate because of me, didn't you? So come on, let's see you use it on me. Karate is not for picking fights. You ain't picking a fight, short stuff. This fight is picking you. Oh, what's this? Antique shops. Give that back, Brick. Give that back, Brick. Woo! Hey, why don't you come and get it? <laughs> Just give it to me. I don't want any trouble. How much is it worth to you? About this much. Uh. Got it. Nice move. Too bad that's not the list. So long, sucker. Come on, Tina. Man, something on this is worth a lot of money for Danny Boy to risk his life. And I'm going to find out what it is. Hey, Tina! Hand me that list of antique shops. I want to take another look at it. Why don't you forget it, Brick? This list doesn't mean anything. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. That's what you're going to find out. Uh, me? Why should I? Because if it's worth some cash, it could be our ticket out of this rat hole town. You really mean that, Brick? Okay, I'll, I'll try and find out. Oh, a spider! Oh, I hate this place! <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Tina? Scared of a little bitty spider? <laughs> Why's it taking so long to get this thing running, Mr. Miyagi? What's wrong with it anyway? Got overheated. Blow head gasket. But we gotta get going. Rick has the list. It's all my fault. Now we gotta search every antique shop in Newark to find the shrine. Hand me wrench. I just can't believe Tina's still with that jerk. If only I had stood up to him back then. Maybe Daniel's son like Tony's truck. Need tune-up. What's that supposed to mean? Daniel have screw loose if brief dating girl solve all her problems. Start engine. I don't know, Mr. Miyagi. I can't just forget about Tina and Brick. What should I do? Don't flood it. He's up on gas. Oh, I get it. You mean don't go charging him full speed or I might lose focus. No, mean don't flood engine. He's up on pedal. But what you say, good idea too. Maybe we ought to call a mechanic? Not necessary. Yo! Like taught Danielson, last resort, use force. Miyagi get tucky. I figured you'd be here at Papa Tony's. What do you want? Didn't you and your boyfriend get enough laughs last night? I'm sorry about that, Daniel. Look, I, I brought a peace offering. It's the list! I took it out of Brick's pocket when he wasn't looking. Oh, Tina, you're incredible! You just saved us a walk oh. through the Yellow Pages. Taki! Mr. Miyagi! Daniel son, you cover shops on east side. Miyagi and Taki cover west. Meet back Papa Tony's five o'clock. You got it, Mr. Miyagi. 
I'm really glad you came along to help me find the shrine, Tina. Me too. What's so important about this shrine thing you're looking for? It's kind of a long story. Hey, you got chili on your chin. <laughs> so do you. Just like on our first date. Not really. I've changed, you've changed. What about that thing on the subway, Tina? I don't know. I, I guess it was a mistake. Yeah. Well, so is Brick. He's a jerk, Tina. You could do better than him. Meaning you? No, yeah. May maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> you haven't changed so much, Danny LaRusso. That's it! That's the shrine! I just hope it's not too expensive. That took my last dime. It's a good thing no one knows how valuable this thing really is. Nice work, Tina. You led me right to little Danny Boy's secret gold mine. Oh. Huh? Tina, you were in on this? I can't believe you lied to me. Daniel, I I'm sorry. I had to. Please understand. What's the matter, coward? Your big date go bad? Again? <laughs> Don't push me, Brick. Oh, ooh. come on, Danny boy. Turn me into chop suey. Listen, Brick. You've got to listen to me. Hey, I don't have time to listen to anybody, especially pipsqueak punks like you. Uh, yeah. uh, here, try this on for size. That's enough, Brick. I've got the shrine. Leave him alone. Hey. Oh. 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 Well, how'd you do that? So that's what did it. Oh, this thing is money in the bank. Let's go. I got plans to make. I've got to stop him before it's too late. It's almost five. Maybe I can make it back to Papa Tony's and meet Mr. Miyagi. He'll know what to do. The power must come from inside this statue. Let's get rid of it, Brick. I'm scared what it might do. Don't do that! What was that? I was just thinking about scaring you. I, I was just thinking about how you're afraid of spiders, and it happened. This is crazy, Brick. You've got to give it back. That thing's dangerous. No way. Not before someone gives me a whole lot of cash. I'm telling you, Rizzo, you've never seen anything like this. You couldn't pay me what it's worth. Just meet me by the roller coaster at Palisades Park in 20 minutes. Still think I'm crazy, Tina? Yeah, I'm crazy, crazy rich! Where is Mr. Miyagi? It's five o'clock. He's late. Papa Tony's Pizza! Tina? Daniel, I saw what the shrine can do. You've got to stop Rick. He's selling it to a man at, at the roller coaster. Gas! I need gas for the van! No money. Wait. Papa Tony said he had his savings stashed in a safe place. Where would that be? Where would that be? Where would it be? Be? Bees? That's it! Everyone has fears. The secret is don't let them control you. I did it! Thanks. Keep the change. Well, that is the last shop on the list, Mr. Miyagi. I hope Daniel is having better luck. It's late. Better call Daniel's son. Taki, Daniel's son leave message with Papa Tony. Must get to amusement park. Explain later. 
Excuse Breeze, no fastest way to Parasades Park? Yeah, take a taxi. Boy, give Miyagi idea. <gasps> you show me way to park. Sure, you can keep up, old man. Admire man who knows shortest route to reach goal. Hey man, that was awesome! That was nothing. You should see him chop down a tree with his bare hands. Frata Mireta got to find Daniel son. Look! There's Papa Tony's family! Must hurry! <gasps> Brick! Give me the shrine! Watch this, Rizzo. I'll show you what this thing is really worth. You want a wimp? Come take it! You're scared of me, aren't you, Danny boy? I'm not afraid. Just give, give, give me back the shrine. Yeah, yeah, you're afraid of me. I know how this thing works. It's just like the spider. Brick, no! <laughs> Meet your worst nightmare! Three of me! The thing is worth millions. Don't resist fears, Daniel-san, or they will grow. Face them. Yeah. Come on, Rizzo. I want my money now. Give it here. You got a deal. Here. No more, Brick. The statue! You would get my money! I've got to stop him! Daniel needs my help. Ballet lessons don't fail me now. Taki-san, take too big a chance. Found again, Takisan. Life lost, never regained. <laughs> the statue's mine now! No brick! <laughs> you little runt! You made me lose it! I'll get you for this! Fight me, punk! It's over, brick! I don't need to fight you! <laughs> Well done, Daniel son. aircraft carrier. Imagine being on the deck of this aircraft carrier. The USS Flag is fantastic! It's so big! Oh, my God! Metal Get ready to launch aircraft! Where's the Admiral? Down here! G.I. Joe! Fire! We stood Cobra! Yo, Joe! G.I. 
G.I. Joe USS Flag aircraft carrier comes with what you see here, other figures and equipment sold separately from Hasbro. Introducing the new Play-Doh Mop Top Hair Shop. Well, they're the Mop Tops, the Play-Doh Mop Tops, just turn the chair. They grow Play-Doh hair. They're the Mop Tops. You can comb it, wave it, style it or shave it. The Play-Doh Mop Tops. You can let it grow down to his toes. They're the Mop Tops. From the Play-Doh Mop Top Hair Shop. The Play-Doh Mop Top Hair Shop, sold with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Gleaming in the morning light, home of Shearer shining bright, Crystal Castle. You put it together, she whistled separately, you can pretend. Magic things shine everywhere, cause it has a secret power. Lifted high on her throne, Shearer saves the world alone. The fate of the world safe in Crystal Castle, Princess of Power. Crystal Castle, the source of all power, she dazzled separately, new from Mattel. Even without his laser gun. What's that? Or his laser axe. A robot! Or his awesome power claw. Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. This unstoppable enemy of evil. Go get him, Roboto! Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. Yeah! Is the most powerful robot in the universe. Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. Roboto. New from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Break. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, Ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Cavalier? And Acrobat? Avenger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Are you sure Dungeon Master said to come this way, Hank? I, I'm pretty sure. But we haven't seen a village all day. Or anything to eat, either. Unless you're into eating rock burgers. I wonder what's in there. Something that moans a lot. Yeah, and probably something bigger and uglier that makes it moan. There's no way home through there. Dungeon Master! Quite correct, Cavalier. A heartless dragon dwells in the Vale of Mists. And there is no portal to your world. Ha! What did I tell you? Even he agrees with me. However, when oh. the dragon's heart is in the right place, it may show you the way home. What in the world does that mean? Yeah, Dungeon Master, oh. what? Oh, no, he's gone. And I think we should follow his example. But I'm obviously in the minority. We're gonna regret this, kid. You'll see. All right, Eric. I'm sure. Wow, this fog's thicker than peanut butter. Shh, hold it down. Whatever it is, we don't want it to know we're here. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! So much for sneaking in. <laughs> Where are we? Dungeon Master told us about. Yeah, and get a load of them. Orcs? Venger must have something to do with this. So tired. I can't work anymore. Oh. Get up, 
gnome, no resting. Oh, I can't. There will be no rest until you have mined all the mystic gems for Venger. against all of them. show a little gratitude. You don't understand. The valley is under Venger's spell. No gnome may leave the valley and live. Maybe Presto's magic can lift the spell. Yeah, uh, right. And maybe you can lift a dump truck. Only the spellbinder Lukion can break the spell. His magic protected our valley for centuries. Where can we find this spellbinder? Haven't we done enough volunteer work for one day? No one can find Lukion. When he refused to tell Venger the secret of the dragon's heart, Venger imprisoned him in the Swamp of Sorrow. Wait! Dragon's heart! Dungeon Master said that would show us the way to get home! Uh, huh? You've got to tell us where this swamp is! To the south, beyond the forest! And now, I must return to face my punishment. We'll be back, honest, as soon as we find Lokion! Right, Bobby. Come on, let's get going. Then the young ones helped this slave try to escape. Have mercy, Great Venger. I returned here willingly to serve you. What did you tell the young humans? Did you speak of Lukian or the secret of the dragon's heart? I do not know the secret, Great Venger. I said only that Lukian is your prisoner and that no one could find him. Yet they have set out to search for him? Yes. Return the slave to his work. Yes, master. Shadow Demon! Yes, Highness? You will go to the Swamp of Sorrow and find the young ones. If they locate Lukian, he may tell them the secret of the dragon. You will report it to me at once. As you wish. And if they don't find the Spellbinder? Then the Swamp shall claim them. And you will collect their weapons for me. That gnome gave us a bum steer. Not even Venger would build a prison in a mud hole like this. It'd sink right into the slime. Your reasoning is sound, Cavalier. No one would build a prison here. You agree with me? Twice in one day? Indeed. For Lucian dwells in the saddest prison of all. A prison without walls. Huh? What kind of prison doesn't have walls? Yeah, Dungeon Master. That doesn't make any... Ah, oh, rats. He's gone again. Yeah, maybe he went home to his little dungeon without floors or something. Huh? Oh, great! Pull harder and, oh. and won't let go! <laughs> Sheila! Oh no, we're surrounded! The 
toadstools don't get us, that mug monster will! Whoa! Adventurers? Uh -huh. You are closer to finding Lukian than you think. But how will we know him? By what he says without speaking. What's he gonna do? Whistle? You must find him quickly. During the crossing of the Four Suns tomorrow. For that is the only time Lukian can help you. Dungeon Master? Where'd he go? <laughs> I'm really confused now. What's confusing? We just find the heart of the prison and the dragon that speaks without walls and we're home free. It's simple. Yuck! What is this creepy place? You mean, what was this creepy place? Do you think this could be the prison without walls? I don't know. They sure doesn't look like a prison to me. I think it's just gross. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, not so fast. I could use a little rest before we march back into the muck. <laughs> Good idea, Eric. Take a load off your brains. Very funny. <laughs> My bed! You can have it! You can have it! A zombie! Eric needs help! <laughs> An earthquake! <gasps> yeah! Hurry! Let's blow this dump while we've got the chance! Oh no! Mr. Muckball again! again. Well, stay back. We don't want to have to hurt you. Careful, Hank. Don't give him too big a scare. Wait a minute. Are you nuts? 
Dungeon Master said we'd know Lukeon by what he spoke without words. Well, his actions speak without words. He saved us. Twice! You gotta be kidding! That is, is Lukeon? I think it wants us to follow. You're not gonna trust a mound of killer crabgrass, are you? Outvoted again. He wants to show us something. Wow, it's magic stuff. I bet this is Lukeon's. See? I told you! He probably ate Lukeon and kept his stuff! Wise up, Eric. Venger must have changed Lukeon into this creature. Trapped in this form, he can't say any magic words, and he can't work any spells. He's in a, a prison without walls. Right. <laughs> oh, gross. That gem is beating li like a heart. <laughs> the heart of the dragon. <laughs> to work a spell to change you back <laughs> oh, what if i flub it i might turn you into a bullywug or something you've gotta try presto lukeon's our only hope to free the gnomes from danger and for us to find a way home okay here goes <laughs> Brother, what's next? Card tricks? Look, can you tell us how to get home or not? The secret you seek lies within the heart of the dragon. We'll see once my fellow gnomes have been set free. Venger may have something to say about that, Lucian. March to work! To work! Lucian! And the young ones! The four suns are about to converge. So that's why it's called the Heart of the Dragon. Look! A giant map! Of the whole universe! Oh! It is that and much more. Each point of light is a gateway to another world. So, point us to our gateway and get us out of here already. I'll have no further need for you, Lucian, or your nobles. Lucian, you've got to stop them. They'll crush the village. And now to be rid of you, Lucian, once and for all.
some in here that'll help. Hey, Eric, a cannon. So what? You're gonna point it at him and say bang? Huh? Conjure up a cannonball, Airhead! Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no, ball bearings. <gasps> Whoa! No one won't stop him! Well, we gotta try something. Surrender, Spellbinder. I return you to the swamp and let you live. Never! Did you see that, Eric? Lucian turned Vengeance's own magic against him. Skip the play-by-play, -play, Presto! Just find the cannonball, please! <laughs> I guess we don't need the cannonball, eh, Eric? There's still one small problem. Avenger! Wow! Is Venger gone for good, Lucian? Alas, no, Barbarian. His own power and that of the Dragon's Heart have banished him only for the moment. Well, at least we won't be around when he gets back. You're gonna show us the way home, right? I'm afraid I cannot. What? The gemstone whose light led to your world was there. Oh, no. There is no way the gemstone can help you now. We are grateful for your help and sorry we can't help you in return. You're sorry? After the throne, without without walls and the zombies and the home? What do you know about sorry? That's enough, Eric. Let's go. I wonder if we'll ever find a way out of this world. You will one day, magician. With each brave deed, you grow more worthy. You will be rewarded in time. In time for what? Our retirement? Patience, Cavalier. Patience. The news today! Kids all over America are going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! The big chocolatey puffs that go crunch! The crunchy part of this complete breakfast! In the public library, Matthew Murphy crunched into those big chocolatey puffs! I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Just in from Alaska, Eskimo Ed is about to crunch! It's Igloo is a disaster area, and that's the way it is with Cocoa Puffs! The big chocolatey puffs that go crunch! I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Lucky's hiding down one of his colorful robes with his delicious Lucky Charms. Which robe? Hearts? Stars? Moons? Clovers? Diamonds? Horseshoes? Lucky, we need a clue. Just take the road of the charm that grows. Grows? Green clovers grow. Let's go! Yikes! Got him! Love these marshmallowy Lucky Charms. Mmm! Part of this complete breakfast. Smart kids. I'll send you a real four-leaf clover charm with your name on it free with two proofs of purchase. Project X. Now you gotta wear shades. Cause new Sweet Fruity Tricks has even brighter fruit colors. Got some shades. Bring on the brighter raspberry red, purple, orange, yellow tricks. The mouth-watering part of this complete breakfast. Nice shade. See? I'm not such a silly rabbit after all. Rabbit? Silly rabbit. New brighter fruit colored tricks are for kids. Yay! Red shades! Well, now you can get shades like the rabbits free in specially marked boxes of colorful tricks. I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles.
Surveillance Control to Outpost 10. Report, please. Outpost 10, all clear. Good boy, Slick. Oh. This is Outpost 7 calling Grandpa Little. Emergency, emergency. Don't just blow hot air through your straw, Dinky. What is it? Well, I can't see exactly. There are all these big people in the way. They're digging like a bunch of gophers. Uh-oh, I think they found something. Look at that, a statue no bigger than my thumb. And look, it has a tail. A tail? Oh, no, a tail! Yeah, that's it, I'm afraid. The statue of King Iota, ancient ruler of the lost city of the Littles. Good heavens. The lost city was supposed to have disappeared thousands of years ago, but I thought it was only a myth. I'm afraid it's the truth. Hey, it says here the statue is being stored in the archaeology department at Grand Valley College. Someone's got to go there and get me a copy of that inscription. If the bigs decipher it before we do, it could be too late for all of us. I've got to get my hands on that statue, Peterson. A closer examination of its inscription may give me a vital clue about the little. But how will we get it? We'll just have to visit the college and borrow it. That little statue could be of great importance. There's no telling what we'll find as we keep on digging. If only we could figure out the meaning of that little tail. <laughs> a tail? Henry, what's the matter? Uh, nothing. I'm just getting tired. I, I think I'd like to go to bed early. This is terrible. Why didn't you tell me my parents discovered a statue of an ancient little? We didn't want you to worry. But I am worried. I love my parents, but I'd never be able to forgive them if they caused you any harm. There's no other choice. I'll just have to steal the statue. Stealing is against the law. Well, it never leads to anything but trouble. But this is an emergency. We'll find another way. Hey, come on, Dickie. We gotta hurry. Wait for us! All aboard the Grand Valley Express! Where are we going? To the college. We've got to get a copy of that inscription for Dr. Speckles to decipher. Better hold on to me, Lucy. I hear this tube train to the college is quite a ride. Here we go! We're coming in a little bit. Hang on! Lucy, what's that? Look! We're almost to the storm train. Get ready for splashdown! Looks like smooth sailing ahead. We'll be at the college in a minute. I know stealing is wrong, Slick, but this problem is special. If I just sit here, my friends could be hurt. I can't risk having my parents decipher that inscription and causing any harm to the littles. Come on, Slick, we got work to do. Wait for me here, Peterson. This is the archaeology room, all right. And that cabinet must be where the statue is. How will we get to it? That's simple, little Lucy. Follow me.
Now that's what I call Florida door service. And you're what I call a flea brain. Come on, let's find the statue. What was that? Someone's coming, we gotta hide. Whoop. Grandpa Little, look! The statue of King Iota. We've got to get the inscription. you write any faster. <laughs> Not with my hands shaking like it is. Grandpa, he's... Dr. Hunter took the statue. Yes, but we have the inscription. We've got to get it to Dr. Speckles. This is my folks' research room, Slick. Now all we have to do is find the little statue. This is it. Let's go. I can see the inscription, Peterson. I just hope the computer can decipher it. Dr. Hunter, it's coming up on the screen. By the light of the full moon, my people will return to the lost city of the Littles. There must be a lost city buried near the site where the statue was uncovered. This could be just the piece of evidence to prove my theory that the Littles exist. Hurry, Peterson. Tonight's a full moon. We've got to get to the dig site before it's too late. You. you what? I know you said not to steal it, but I knew it was more important for you to have it. That's not the real statue. It's a fake. That's right. We saw Dr. Hunter switch it with the real one while we were copying the inscription. But I... You've done enough for today, Henry. You better return the statue. But you told me it's fake. I've got it. By the light of the full moon, my people will return to the lost city of the Littles. What does it mean, Dr. Speckles? Just as I thought. There's a reference here to a time long ago when the entire population of the Littles was put under a spell by the magical sounds of King Iota. Then when the light of the full moon hits the statue, all of us Littles will be zapped by its call and head off for the lost city like a bunch of zombies. Not quite, Dinky. Because Dr. Hunter has the statue, whoever is under the magic spell will head directly for him. Well, quick! Cover your ears! We've got to contact the rest of the Littles and have them plug up their ears, too! What did you say, Grandpa Little? I can't hear you, Dinky! Did he say something, Dr. Speckles? What's that, Dinky? Let's speak a little louder! That looks like the spot where the statue was dug up. We're just in time. The moon is about to come out from behind those clouds. of the Littles.
Lucy, turn that thing off and go to sleep. for the lost city with who knows how many others. We've got to find them before Dr. Hunter does. But how will we know where to look? There's only one solution. One of us will have to unplug his ears. The others can follow as a magic spell takes him to the lost city. Good idea, Grandpa Little. Here, let me help you take off those earmuffs. Not me, you fool. You're going to volunteer. <laughs> for a minute there, I thought you said I was going to volunteer. I did. This is the find of a lifetime, Peterson. I'll have no trouble proving the existence of the Littles now. Dr. Hunter, one of the instruments is picking up something. It's a subnormal heartbeat. Wait. Look, there's more than one. Of course. That's what the writing on the statue means. It must be calling the Littles to their ancient homeland. Hurry, we've got to set our plan. What happened? Where am I? I must be having a nightmare. Oh, no! Where's he going now, Lucy? He's heading for the room. This can't be the right direction. There's nothing up here except... Dinky's airplane! <laughs> the pulses are speeding up. Whatever's out there is getting closer. Keep down. Look! 
Inscription here. It says, if no littles have returned before my eyes fall upon the temple, the spell will be broken and the lost city will disappear forever. Look, that must be the temple. Apart. Where are we? I don't know, but I don't think we should stick around to find out. Everyone, hey, back to town! Get out of here. Oh no, my parents, quick! Here, I think you lost this!
Dr. Hunter. So you're the one who took the statue. I, I... Uh... Oh, no, look. He's destroyed our excavation site. The city council isn't going to appreciate it when they hear about this, Dr. Hunter. I sure am glad you're home safe. I'm sorry about stealing the statue, Grandpa Little. I thought I was doing you all a favor. I know you meant well, Henry, but big or little, there's never a good reason to steal. I guess you're right, Grandpa Little. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry, Henry. We still love you. Yeah, and there's one thing it's okay to steal. Oh, what's that? A kiss. three Dixie Cup sticks to two Popsicle sticks. Then you take a square cardboard tag, punch two holes, and insert a rubber band. I'm a rubber band specialist. Patch the two ends of the rubber band to the tops of the Popsicle sticks, and it's ready to go. Let's go! No, wait, the glue is still fresh. Oh, no! You can phone here. Why, Mom? Now what? You could win a phone of your own in my monster phone sweepstakes. Yeah? A thousand kids can win their choice of a touch o matic clock radio, cordless, or monster button phone. Yep. Plus a hundred dollars for bills. If the phone monster game in special boxes of Captain Crunch says you win... I win! Won in 19,000, I win for free games like monster phone box 2683, Island Park, Illinois, 60035. I'll eat it. An Oreo cookie. It's a bright idea to dunk it or to crunch it or unscrew it or to lick it or to trick it. But no matter what you do, it's true. It's fun to munch a creamy, crunchy chocolate. O R E O goes great with imagination. Put the yum in your creation. Oreo and Oreo double stuffed cookies. Turn after these messages. The strawberry shortcake, big berry trolley's fun. Wobbles and clicks to the end of its run. All aboard, big berry trolley. Strawberry shortcake with customs one arrive. Dolls of pet, each sold separately. We're off to berry market. Wait, we forgot angel cake with souffle. Hold on, because it wobbles a lot and goes clickety-click. Clickety-click, clickety-click. New Strawberry Shortcake Big Berry Trolley. Dolls with pets, each sold separately. 
your crew, look out! Space Invaders! Of course, Captain! They're the prize! The prize? Right! You can win one of 5,000 Atari video systems from Captain Crunch Cereal. Each specially marked box comes with a wallet and Crunch Money Bills. If one of your Crunch Money Bills says, Winner! We won! You win! Chance of winning one in 3,000. TV not included. No, I get it. You sure do! For bills without purchase, write Captain Crunch, Box 4208, Young America, Minnesota, 55399. We now return with The Little Rascal. Call it Tails! Ken, I win! That makes me the team captain! That's no fair, Spanky! You're always the team captain! Yes, Spanky! After all, Elf Alpha really looks the part! <laughs> Alfalfa, you're the quarterback star. Really? The star, huh? That's me, all right. Gangway! I'm heading for a touchdown. Who's our greatest football star? That's Alfalfa. He'll go far. Go, go, Alfalfa! Alfalfa, look out! <laughs> A mouthful, Porky. That Butch is nothing but trouble. Thank you. Make Butch give back the ball. You're the captain. Oh, so you're the captain, huh? So what's your next play? I call the plays around here. Yeah? What position are you? I'm... <laughs> I'm the quarterback star. And I'm the star kicker. <laughs> <laughs> property. If you kids want to play, go play in the empty lot. But Officer Ed, we've got to get... Get going. And I mean now. Move! Uh, who wants an old football anyway? Be back tonight when it's dark to get your football. Unless you chickens are really chickens. You're on! Anybody bring a flashlight? I made something better. The buckwheat bug beam. It never needs batteries. Thanks, buckwheat. That's just what we need. Look, the door's open. Maybe somebody's expecting us. <laughs> like a ship-shaped place. Yeah, I just hope we don't go down with a ship. What was that? You mean that big crash that sounded like the door slamming shut behind us and locking us in this creepy place? Uh-huh. I didn't hear anything. Come on, let's get the 
football so we can prove we were here. <laughs> <laughs> Was a mean looking dude. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like the football's in this room. Did you guys hear something? I didn't hear a thing. I didn't even hear. Kid, this pile of junk won't get off the 
ground, let alone to the moon. Yeah, the moon. Look at that. A control panel. Control. Well, speaking of control, I just lost mine. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, what? Hershey's chocolate? What you call it? You can ask for it by name. Give me that. Give me what? Oh. Golden Dream Barbie. Beautiful. Beautiful Golden Dream Barbie doll. Hey girls, our guests will be here soon. Quick, let's get Barbie ready. Yeah. Golden Dream Barbie has glittery golden colored quick curl hair you can style with her play curling iron. Gorgeous outfit. Sparkling jewelry. Barbie's spectacular. She's Golden Dream Barbie, Daddy. No wonder. <laughs> Golden Dream Barbie doll comes with all you see here, from Mattel. Catch Lucky! He's got Lucky Charms! They're magically delicious! Whoops! I'll make a wrap. And float away with the Lucky Charms. The crunchy oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Oh, how tasty! Whoops! Where are your Lucky Charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. Beans and rice. Beans and rice. Mama even served us sometimes twice. But silly as he seems, beans will give you your protein. My good buddy rice. It's all happening right here. Ooh, humor. Uh, 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 uh. In that radical face. No, 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 no. From outer space. <laughs> Orbits into Saturday mornings for the first time. And look who's back hey. together. Bye. See Fonz and Mr. Cool. Sign up yeah. with that team in green. Watch the leather guys. On Saturday. They're all coming at you September 25th. With me, Pac-Man. On Pac-Man Day. Wake up, guys. We got work to do. We do? Well, I've got to get out the morning edition. And we've got to get out the breakfast edition. What's it say? Snap, pop, 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 talking just to you. Sounds good. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Snap, pop, pop, pop Rice, Rice Krispies. Krispies. Now free in Rice Krispies, one Masters of the Universe puffy sticker. I got hearing. 
prettiest warrior of them all. Yeah, next to Tila. You can collect all five free. Alert the troops. They're protecting Toothopolis with some gel. Attack! Cavity creeps. Crap down. Crap down. Great tasting crest gel with Fluoristat. You creep. Repel by crest gel. They're coming to your town. <laughs> Gremlins. From now until August 11th, a sheet of six Gremlin stickers is available at participating stores. When you buy a tube of Crest, you can catch a Gremlin with Crest. Rich Show. Golly, Richie, I love your soda fountain. Big deal. I bet you the ice cream is creamier over at my house. If you say so, Reggie. Three rich Sundays coming up. One for Gloria, one for Reggie, and one for Dollar. I bet you don't serve dog Sundays at your house, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Wee! There must be a hundred thousand dollars in your bank. Aren't you worried about burglars, Richie? Uh-uh. We've got a super security system. The estate is absolutely burglar-proof. Oh, yeah, I read all about burglar alarms. None of them are foolproof. You look here, Reggie Van Doe. If Richie says his house is burglar-proof, it's burglar-proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burglar-proof until a smart burglar unproofs it. Ta-ta, chumps. I'm going home for some of my creamier ice cream. <laughs> We'll soon see how burglar-proof this joint is. <laughs> Professor Keen Bean's gadgets ought to get me past Richie's security devices. Come and get me, burglar catchers. You can get through the Keen Bean Force Field, Buster. <laughs> uh oh, there's an intruder on the estate. Come on, you'll see our burglar claws capture him. Gosh, oh, gee, Reggie was right. Ooh. A smart burglar unproofed your security system. But he's not smart enough to escape our anti-escape system. Let's find him. Richie, your estate's a hundred miles wide. How are we gonna find that burglar? There he is, after him. Ooh. There he is, heading for my football stadium. He's getting away. How can you stop him? By showing him how I can play football all by myself with my robot football team. Get out, get out, it ain't no fair. Oh, 
a lifetime lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Master Richie, I shall set up the beach paraphernalia. Oh, there you are, Master Richie, complete with shower and TV. Oh, and of course, Dollar's tenth dog hunt. I'm going to change, Dollar. Why don't you run along and play? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Chicken feed. The boss says we swipe the maid so he can bust a hundred volts. First, we discombobulate the anti crook alarm system. All set to demonstrate your new foolproof alarm system, Richie? All we need is someone to make believe he's a burglar. <laughs> I've heard of a cat burglar, but a dog burglar? <laughs> okay, Dollar, kidnap me. Well, 
Looks like your foolproof anti-crook alarm goofed, Reggie. Uh-uh. We still have our backup security system. Ooh. Give it another try, Dollar. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Richie's in trouble. Grr, grr, grr. I'll show you how to grr. Now we use the mechanical cat to capture her. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm coming, Kitty. I'll save you. Nice, Kitty. Don't worry. You're safe with Irona. Yeah, but you ain't safe with the cat. <laughs> Nothing like a little instant rust to deactivate a super robot. Oh, no, I'm resting solid. Okay, move it. The boss is waiting for her at our secret hideout. Those gardeners are phonies, and they're kidnapping Irona. After them! Jeepers! We'll never find them in this million-dollar maze of shrubs. Come on, we'll need Professor Keenbean's help. You locked the keys inside. Uh, I don't want nobody to steal our getaway car. Yeah, move it. We'll steal what it is. And the kidnappers have vanished. Willikers, what are you doing, Professor Green Bean? <laughs> well, well, I'm using my kicking machine to punish myself for not inventing a waterproof burglar alarm. <laughs> I say, Master Richie, someone has stolen your father's limousine. The robot nappers. We used your stolen car locator to find them. Well, excellent idea. Where did I put it? Ah, this must be it. Ow! Oh, 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 that's my portable expanding TV. Oh, ha, 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 the TV stolen car locator. I knew where it was all the time. Thanks, Professor Keenbean. We'll follow them in the rich mobile. Genius, boss. Now you can copy that robot made exact. And soon my army of fake Ironas will bust every vault in the country. We're getting closer. Look! They've made duplicates of Irona for their evil purposes. Uh, how are we gonna find the real Irona? With the Keen Bean X-ray telescope, that's how. There she is, on the top floor, and she's rusted solid. Oh, golly! How are we gonna get in and rescue her? Hold tight, and you'll see how. And I'll take three of these. <laughs> How's a kid gonna pay for a half a million dollars worth of bulldozers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richie Rich, you own this place. Take ten bulldozers. Take everything you want. Okay, dollar old pal, do your thing. <laughs> Good work, good buddy. Okay, guys, into the bulldozers. Forward ho! Jeez, it's an 
earthquake. Wrong. Not an earthquake. A rich quake. <laughs> Fools! My fake eye runners are ready to get you. Uh, I think it's time to surrender. I beg your pardon, Master Freckles. It's time for lunch. We'll start with the salad. Would you prefer French dressing, blue cheese, or oil and vinegar? Oil. That's it. Mm, that feels good. Messing around with my Richie, eh? That'll teach you now to mess around with my Richie. And I ain't messing around with her. Let's get out of here. After them. You never figured on Professor Keen Bean's jet cane. And now for the Richmobile remote control. Stop! Never! Never! You'll never catch us! Yeah! We give up! A zillionaire kid is too much for two big crooks! <laughs> Allowance. We're even. And thanks for the fruit salad. Ooh, 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 a hundred thousand bucks! The new foolproof security system is ready to test, Reggie. <laughs> you game for another try, Gotcha! Don't worry, Dollar. I'll use next week's allowance to hire you the best lawyer in town. <laughs> Sold separately. You have to put the castle together. Ram man, use your head. I just did. Not that way. We have a prisoner. Good. Who's the prisoner? You are, because we have the power. Oh, no. Ram Man and He-Man from the Masters of the Universe collection, each sold separately. Castle Grayskull also sold separately from Mattel. Oh, those little Keebler elves make uncommonly good cookies. Next, they do it magically in a hollow tree. To make these Keebler swirly two sticks ingenuity. Swirl in the chocolate. The elves swirl a river of real chocolate through delicious shortbread cookies. So there's a taste of chocolate in every bite of Swirly Cues. <laughs> Next. In the Keebler Hollow Tree. Where we make crackers and cookies uncommonly good. La-da-da-dam! Ah, who goes there? Toucan Sam. Another sea dog looking for treasure to loot? No, I see flavors of fruit. Fruit? Me crew needs a good meal. Lead us to your fruitful treasure. My pleasure. We'll follow my nose. Fruit ho! It's always nose. Ahoy! Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal. With natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors and a full day supply of vitamin C. Part of this complete breakfast. So you like Fruit Loops? I am hooked. <laughs> you're going, you're proving you got to keep moving.
and gentle packs, this year's Super Pack Bowl is about to begin. Pack and sack packers will play the Power Pellet Pickers, led by their quarterback and our hometown boy, Pac-Man! What we're after, the Pack and Sack Packers. Okay, men, prepare for Operation Ghost Gophers. Aye, aye, Clyde! Hop, two, three, four! Hop, two, three, four! Pac-Man's team will toss the coin to see who kicks off. Call it, Pac-Man. Ah, heads! No, no, tails! No, heads! Tails! I mean, heads! No, no, tails! Oh. Duh, it's heads! Yeah! Ghost heads! Uh-oh! I think I better scram before I get ghost blitzed. Let's get him! Wow! Oh dear! Those awful ghost monsters are ruining the game! Get ghost beast! Chomp on! For Mesmeron! Chomp on, chomp on! Until they're gone! Okay, I give up! You win! Don't chomp me! Who wants to chomp you, Pac-Man? Here! We're gonna chomp them! So long, Pac Dummy! Uh, we got him! This is Clyde calling Mesmeron over. Is this Mesmeron? Have you got the team? We sure do! Ready when you are! Monsters will be taking their place and playing against Pac-Man's team. The winner of the game will take home the trophy and the location of the power forest. Or you'll never see the Pack and Sack Packers again. Ah, uh, we've got nothing to worry about. But I could beat those ghost monsters standing on my head. <laughs> Ghost monsters are about to kick off. Okay, team, let's cream those fat feet. Say, Clyde, I got a question. What is it, Ghost Brains? How am I supposed to kick the ball when I don't have any feet? Do I have to think of everything? Gee, <laughs> thanks. I got it, I got it! Wrong, Pat Punk. I got it. That's a foul. Illegal use of the mouth, 15 yards. Psst, Inky, you got that special football made of tar that Mesmeron gave us? Sure. There it is. Give me that. Here, swap this with the other football. Look, an invisible butterfly. I don't see any invisible butterfly. Of course not. It's invisible, isn't it? <laughs> Thirty-two, sixteen, what? What? Hey, what are you doing in my hand? I just passed you. Oh. Hand off! Hand off! Punch! Punch! <laughs> Looks like Packy and his teammates really know how to stick together. <laughs> Touchdown! No touchdown! Illegal use of the tar ball, 15 yards! Oh, illegal use of the referee, 100 yards! Way to go, Pinky! That's good for the extra point! Oh, it's looking bad for the power pellet pickers as the ghost monsters go ahead, 7 0. <sighs> No use, Pepper. For those ghostly cheaters and no referee, there's nothing in the world that can help us win. Ah! 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 Ah!
Oh, no, not him again. I think I'd rather lose the game and get chumped. Have no fear. The one and only Super Splendiferous, all-powerful, not to mention good-looking, Super Pack is here. No applause, please. Thank you. Now, what sort of spine-tingling jeopardy can I get you out of today? Well, how good are you at football? Football? Why, I'm the greatest football player in the universe. Oh, boy. What choice do I have? Uh-oh! Pac-Man's got that super guy playing on his side. Don't worry. I've got some super tricks of my own. Should I use the grenade ball or the helicopter ball? Ah, this guided propeller ball should fix that super fool. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off! What a kick! Uh, I mean, what a launch! I got it! I got it! Ah. Relax! Put those teeth away. I, I'm Super Pack, defender of the flea-bitten, fighter for truth, justice, and more dog bones. You wouldn't want to bite me now, would you? <laughs> oh, don't mind him. He's just uh, one of my loyal fans. Shoo, stop that. Come on. Oh, brother. Come on, Pack Punks. Let's see how far you can kick it. I'll kick this ball so far, they'll be running for a week to catch it. They sure are sending up some weird-looking satellites these days. <laughs> we got it on the five-yard line! Uh, 33, 47, 18 times 6, 12 divided by 3.5, the square root of 11 plus 52 over X. Hi. Hey, what are you waiting for? Wake up. Yippee, another kitty. With 60 seconds left in the game, the Ghostbusters are leading 86 to zip. There's only one chance. As much as I hate to suggest it, you've got to munch on one of your super-powered power pellets. Lucky for you, I just happen to have one left. I got it, fellas. Give me that. Hi. Whatever you do, keep that thing away from Super Pack. 30 seconds left in the game, and the ghost monsters have the ball. Uh, I mean, the power pellet. Get that pellet! Oh, this fight! Don't let down! Yeah, fight, fight, fight! Wait a minute. The way to get my super-powered power pellet back is with my super mouth. Aha! <laughs> we got this game won now! Yeah! That power forest will be ours any minute! Okay, ghost thieves, I'll take that. <laughs> Bit overripe, but otherwise not bad. Ready or not, here I come. Wait a minute, folks. Super Pack has the ball. He's got a touchdown. And another. 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 And I can't stop! Oh no! This chopper is jammed again! Yeah! Stop, you ghost chickens! Oh. Okay, okay, uh, I give up! You can have your pack and sack packers back! Anything! Just stop that chomping maniac! Oh my goodness, Packy, look! 
We've got to stop Super Pack before he chops Pac Land into the Pac Canyon! Quick! Where's that Super Time Warp Space Ball of his? Ah! There you are! Super Pack over here! Ah! Never fear! I'll repair the stadium! Oh, phew. now I know why they call it the Super Pack Bowl. I could have told you that. They named it after moi, the one and only Super Splendiferous, all powerful, not to mention good looking. <laughs> Socks. Chum chum. Would you take my socks? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so, <laughs> sorry, I accused you. <laughs> hey. I can't find my socks. I've checked everywhere. The washing machine. Who put them in there? No. He did. They got so tired of being dirty, they walked in by themselves. Mm, hardy har har. Oh, great. The washer ate my socks again. I told you to call the repairman. 30 bucks an hour? <laughs> Money doesn't grow on power pellet trees, you know. Hmm. I'll fix it myself. Mm hmm. You were the one who fixed it the last time, Packy. That's why it ate your socks. Oh, yeah? Well, this time I'll pull its teeth. <laughs> Oh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Hey, hey, hey! I know, it's TJ. How's it going, cuz? Just thought I'd drop in for the weekend and crash at your pad. Oh, great. Mmm, looks real bad, Dad. What you need is an expert pack mechanic. Fixing a washer's no different than tuning a chopper. All you have to do is clean out the carbs, adjust the points, change the plugs. Voila! You're now the proud owner of a 400 cubic inch dual overhead cam fuel injected washing machine. Yeah, but will it wash my socks? It'll not only wash your socks, it'll do zero to 60 in nine seconds. <laughs> hey, careful, it's my last pair. Hey. That sounds worse than before. Relax, Pax. All we gotta do is adjust the muffler. Whoa, whoa, no! Packy, PJ, where are you? Whoa! Ha! <gasps> how, how did we get to the beach? Hey, this isn't the beach, man. This is the Pac-Hara Desert. Well, then, those must be the Pac Pyramids. Whoa, they're really packed to the max. <laughs> Something tells me you turned my busted washing machine into a busted time machine. I think you're right, Packy. I'd estimate the year to be about 2500 B.C. B.C.? Yeah, before chomping. <laughs> Oh, down to the great pharaohs of Pak Karnak. Oh, superior beings from the beyond, we are grateful that you have come to honor us. Now, these dudes know class when they see us. We are ready for you, oh, great Tutank Pac-Man. Oh, no, uh, you don't understand. Uh, I'm not Tutank Pac-Man. I'm just playing Pac-Man. You see, my washing machine was on the fritz, and, uh, and this fellow over here went and... Uh... Silence! You do not have to explain. We know what you desire and are here to give it to you. Oh, boy. You mean you got me a new pair of water skis? No. We give you the Great Pack Pyramid, where you will be buried for eternity. Oh, oh, oh uh, just what I wanted. No, no, hold it, wait. Uh, I'm allergic to pyramids. Uh, I break out in mummy. You
you must be properly dressed for your journey into the great beyond. Hey, like what's wrong with my duds, dude? Neck 32, waist 32, a chest 32. Uh, hold this. Uh, hey, where'd everybody go? Hang in there, Packy. I got a pack plan that'll get us out of here. Follow me. Whatever you say, PJ. PJ, how are you gonna get us away from that pack pharaoh anyhow? Who are you? Uh oh. Hey, this is one funky little chopper. <laughs> Just stand there! Our mummy is getting away! Hey, hey, hey! It's PJ! All the way! Hurry, PJ! Get that washing machine going! I don't think I can, Packy! Why not? We're out of soap! Don't let them get away! I bet it! Hey, another perfect landing! Maybe, but where are we now? You be on me ship, and you'll regret it. Ah, you'll regret it! You'll regret it! Oh no! It's Packbeard the Pirate! Aye, that's right! And I'll show ye what I do to buccaneers what come upon me ship without asking! Ah, show em, show em! Now, start walking! Oh no, wait! I'm allergic to sharks! I, uh, break out in teeth marks! Too bad, Packbeard! I guess you'll never find the treasure now! Treasure? <laughs> Tell me where it is! Tell him, Packy! Me? 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 Uh, I don't know if there's any treasure. So you ain't talking, eh? Oh, no, no. Oh, why, of course I'm talking. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, um, it's buried on that island. <laughs> Hardy ha ha! We'll soon be rich, me little pot pellet. <laughs> soon be rich! Soon be rich! Land ho! Ah, land ho! Land ho! Will you shut up? Now, show me where the treasure be. Uh, gee, uh, uh, now that I think about it, maybe it was a different island. If it's not buried on this island, you're gonna be. I think you buried it in that mine shaft, remember, Packy? Uh, I did? Uh, I mean, I did. Yeah, sure. Um, of course I did. Uh, didn't I? No, go in there and get it. Huh? Well, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, he's looking, he's looking. Shut up, shut up. Uh, it's an earthquake. No, it's not an earthquake. It's a real quake. Not yet! Quick, start her up! Get us out of here! Don't worry, cuz, we got plenty of time! Oh no, we don't! Oh! <laughs> Where are we this time? I don't know, but if my pack history serves me, that looks a lot like Wilbur and Orville Pack. I'm telling you, Orville, the propeller goes on the bottom. You're wrong, Wilbur. It goes on the wheel like this. At the rate you dudes are going, you'll never get that thing to fly. Fly? This thing ain't supposed to fly. That's right. We're trying to invent the lawnmower. 
Come on, Packy, we gotta help these guys out so I don't have to restudy my history when we get home. Uh, gee, uh, I don't know if that's uh, such a good idea, PJ. You guys may not know it, but you're about to invent the airplane. Air what? Ah, this baby will do Mach 3 now. I don't know. Still looks like a lawnmower to me. Come on, Packy, let's take it for a little spin. Uh, not me. If Pac-Man were meant to fly, they'd have wings. You got wings now! Say, Orville, I wonder how they're gonna cut the grass from up there. Say! You fly pretty good, PJ. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing much. I guess they forgot to invent jet fuel. Oh, I think we're going to invent the plane crash. Cool it, man. I got everything under control. It's a good thing I used your old washing machine to power this jet. Come on, Orville. Let's go invent the video game. Oh! I wonder where Packy and PJ could be, Pack Baby. Daku! Hi, Dada! Hi, PJ! Oh, boy. Oh, what a trip. Yeah, I dug it too, cuz. Oh, gee, I got my sweater dirty. Guess I better wash it. Oh, no! Oh, uh, no! No! Daku! Hi, Dada! Hi, PJ! When they get back, Pack Baby, remind me to have PJ fix the TV for me. Corn Pop cereal. Golden nuggets of corn popped up sweet and light. A popping great part of this nutritious breakfast. I gotta get pop, yeah! I gotta get pop! Wake up for you, sleepy heads. Colgate gets you out to bed. Now there's the Colgate pump. We got the Colgate pump. It's a neat new trick, you know. Pump it on your brush and go. They got the Colgate pump. She's got the Colgate pump. Even moms and dads agree what makes it good is MSP. Two great tastes, maximum fluoride protection at your fingertips. It's a good time for the great taste. Hot crispy fries, world famous fries. Light and golden, got to hold them, can't wait. Right before my eyes, McDonald's fries. I've got them man I can't ever taste. I've got to have them, yeah, I'll take them by surprise. Got to get a taste of those hot crispy fries. What's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today? So you stick around to get my spirit.
We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named a Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. That's what we're afraid of, Cupcake. It's only the cronionic disruption of the molecular configuration of the time void. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Thanks for clearing that up for us. But can't you do something about it? Well, I could try this lever. No! Where'd you go? Ralph? Richie? Hey, where'd everybody split to? Hey, where'd they split to? I don't know, Fonzie. I just pulled this lever and they disappeared. Oh, Mr. Cool, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> oh, there's Richie. Now where's Ralph? Hey! Right here, Fonz. All right, everybody, just stay cool. Whoa, you got a wow of an electrical storm going out there. Don't worry, Fonzie. It'll all be okay as long as the lightning doesn't hit the time machine. All right, nobody panic. Not panic? But there's not even energy to work my joy buzzer or light my electric nose. That's really a shame, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. I knew you'd understand. All right, the battery definitely needs a recharge. That's easy. It's a solar battery, so all we need is the sun. I may not be able to find 1957, but how can I miss the sun? <laughs> if there's a way, you'll miss it. <laughs> You missed the sun, all right. We've landed at night. Huh? Moon craters! All right, all right, so we're a few hours off. It's better than being stuck in that time storm, right? Thanks, Fonzie. Hey, don't you mention it. Now, what year are we talking here, Cupcake? Let's see. Great galaxy, we're in 3057, 1100 years in the future. 1100 years in the future? Wow! Think of all the blind dates I've missed. Ralph! All right, what do you say we get some camping gear? Sleep under the stars tonight. Hey, yeah, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Randy, Baba Restaurant. All right, cool. You grab the gear, you pick the spot. Thanks, Randy. All right. Now that's what I call action. All right, all right, easy, easy, Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool. Let go of the leather. That's it. Now tell me what the problem is. What? Uh, I, th I think we know what the problem is, Fonz. Yeah, what is it, Cunningham? I, I mean, it's only a guess. But I think it's them. Ah! Ah! Run for it, Fonz! All right, the Fonz don't run from anybody, Ralph. Yes! Yeah, on the other hand, what, uh, 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 what are these? Th uh, let, uh, let's take off, Mr. Cool. Run, Fonz! Ah! Ah! All right, maybe this will teach you guys to pick on somebody your own shape. <laughs> your own shape. You will regret that, human! Something tells me he means that, Fonz. Stand back, everybody. I can handle this. Oh, no, we're doomed. All right, time out, Cup. It's like a uh, hold it. Ah! Uh -oh. What did I tell you? Mr. Cool, get up here. <laughs> 
Get the humans! On the double, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he taunts us, but not for long. What's he trying to do? I can't watch. Hey, it's all right. He knows what he's doing. I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, that pooch will never learn. You guys don't mind if I borrow my friend here for a minute, do you? Ramsey! Yay! Yeah! You can The sun! The sun! Quickly! We must get to the cave! Relax, Mr. Cool. They're leaving. Leaving? And they're taking the time machine with them. We'll be stranded here. Hey! Bring that back! You guys stay here. Stop them, Ponzi! All right, you creeps. Open up and hand over that time machine. I'm talking to you, stinkos. They never come out in the sunlight. Well, hello there. And who do we have here? My name is Ilona. <laughs> and he ain't kidding. <laughs> Take it easy, cool. <laughs> What's she got that I haven't got? That's a tough question, Cupcake. Right, Rich. Like, what hasn't she got? You come from 1957? Indeed we do. Me and my friends here. This is Richie. And this is Ralph. And the most wonderful pooch this side of the Pecos, Mr. Cool. All right, all right. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to you all. And I'm Cupcake. We came in my time machine. Is that what the Krolax took inside? Krolax? Yeah, well, whoever they are, we got to get that time machine back. Please, wait. You must know what you are getting into. Come with me. This is where you live? Cosmic Comets, it's beautiful. No gate? Aren't you afraid of those Krolaks? Oh, there's a gate there. Ouch! Hey! The Russian thing has invisible rubber Murphy. It is clear now. You may enter. Thanks, Ilona. Ooh, hey! Who are these strangers? Not strangers, Controller. Friends. The Krolax have stolen their vehicle. Please allow them inside. I sure hope there ain't more like him at home. Oh, right. I think I'd rather take my chances with the Krolax. You may enter on one condition. You must each wear a bracelet to signify union with the city. We all wear them. Oh, yeah? How come he don't? He is the Controller. That's good enough for me, Fonz. I think they're kind of pretty. This way. I think I'll just keep mine in my pocket. You know, I got a rep and everything. Yeah, me too. I got a rep. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Cool? Here, I'll keep it for you, all right? Aw, uh, thanks, Ronzi. Well, that's all right. That's what friends are for. Come on. Let's see where everybody got to. This is the history chamber. And these discs contain the history of our world and the world of the Krolax. Hmm. It is not working. Let me have a crack at it there, Iona. Ilona. Right. And I have a way with machines, you know? Oh, that's... that's wonderful. Fonzie, look! Wait, the lasers! We're done for! <laughs> Do not be afraid. It is only a movie. Yeah, that's what they said about Frankenstein. <laughs> At the end of the Great War, civilization became divided into those who lived above the ground and the evil ones who carved cities under the earth. The darkness and strange gases from the earth turned them into Krolax. Krolax cannot survive in the sunlight. <laughs> Yikes! Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool, now look what you've done. You really did it this time. Let's see if we can fix this up again. All right, Mr. Cool, what is it this time? <laughs> Cupcake, Rich, where are you going? Ralph, what's going on here? 
So, you did not wear the bracelets after all. What? Me neat. Uh-huh, something tells me there's something strange going on around here. <laughs> but you'll never find out. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Hey, all right, what's this? Just something to ensure you don't disrupt things in the city. <laughs> oh, no! They come! They come! <laughs> More workers for us from the city! All right, we gotta get out of here, cool. Oh, I got this bad feeling that Cupcake and the guys are in real trouble. Yeah! What do we do, Randy? Hey, what's this? Huh? Might be a trap door, right? Yeah, yeah, trap right door. All right, you want to check it out? Yeah. Mr. Cool, take it away. Oof. Hey, that's the trap door, all right. That old controller picked the wrong place to try and trap us, huh? Good work, Cool. I see him, I see him. Yeah, cool. All right, follow the fonts. Richie Ralphs, come on, stop. <laughs> you don't know where you're doing. You don't know where you're going. Rich! Close the doors. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, you cowards. Open up and face me, man, the Krolak. What happened to us? Where are we? The Krolak's got Richie and Ralph. Oh, no, it has happened again. People disappear and never return. The Krolaks have some strange power over us. They haven't seen power till they've met me, you know what I mean? You gotta help me find a way in there. In there? Yeah. In the world of the Krolaks? Rich, where are we? How did we get here? I don't know, Ralph. But what do we do? Pull! Pull! I think we pull, Ralph. You are new? Right. Richie Cunningham. Very pleased to meet you. After you've been here five days, you will turn into one of them, a Krolak. Ask him how long he's been here, Rich. About five days, Ralph. These old library maps might be able to tell us something. Ah, they look like gumballs. Watch. Hey, instant maps. Now, that's cool. That's cool. This is one of the oldest. If there was ever any other way in, this map would show it. Here's the city, and here's the entrance to the world of the Krolax. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now, what's this over here? It, it looks like a tunnel. I did hear of one once, but no one knew where it was. Well, we do now, and that's where we're going. And it will be your doom, my friend. <laughs> What do you want, Controller? Why do you bother me? I have some information for you about three new workers. New workers? Tell me more. I must return to the city, friends. If my absence is noted, the Controller will be suspicious. All right, we'll be okay, Iona. Thanks a lot. That's Ilona. Good luck. I gotta remember that chick's name. All right, everybody, stick close. This place gives me the creeps, Fonzie. Ditto, ditto, you know? I hate to think about Malf and Cunningham trapped down there. And I hate to think of us trapped down here! Whoop! Yikes! <laughs> Feet, do your stuff. Run for it. <laughs> Welcome to the world of the Krolax. <laughs> what do you think, Fonzie? Well, in a word, Cuppus, own Kratos. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! We're trapped! All right, calm down, Cupcake. We will think of something. Leave this bunch to me, Fonzie. I'll give them a zap they'll never forget. All right, just be careful, all right? Just be careful. Like always. Yikes! Now you are ours! Yeah, yeah, you did. You also stopped us. So right now, we got no way out of here. <laughs> now, all right, just follow me, and we'll have Rich and Ralph back in no time. We will get you yet, human! Yeah, well, don't count your humans before they're hatched. <laughs> We gotta get out of here before we turn into Krolax. Right. And I got just the plan. 
Anything. Anything. It all depends on you, Ralph. Anything but that, Rich. I'm undependable. I crack under pressure. Pull! Pull! Pull, humans! All right, right. Yes, sir. One of your smoke bombs could confuse the Prolax and hide our escape. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Get ready to run, Rich. What was that? A dud smoke bomb? Worse. It was my petrified frog, and it broke. <laughs> Get a grip on yourself, Ralph. You got any glue on you, Rich? Will you toss the smoke bomb quick? What are you doing, humans? Now run! I can't see! We're safe! <laughs> We're sunk! Come back here, human! Rich, wait up! Wait up for me! Our time machine! Our time machine! What do we do now, Rich? Run! Running is good. I'll buy running. Galloping Galaxy, this is incredible! Now all we gotta do is find the trouble points. They came this way! Quickly, you fools! Cupcake, cool, this way. If you say so, Fuzzy. I say so. Cool, come on, get a move on. This way! There's a guy! Whoops! Come on, cool. Stop clowning around and get up here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cool, you're ripping the zip. <laughs> All right, let's split. I think we lost them. I'll never forgive them for what they made me do to my frog. Oh, oh no! Boy, Krolax! Come on, Ralph. We gotta run. <laughs> nice. Rock ratters! Cunningham, don't you ever do that again. I'm sorry, Fonz. Can you get us out of here, Fonz? Have you seen the time machine? It's over that way. Come on, I'll show you. There it is. Along with the Krolak Patrol. You want me to zap him, Fonzie? Oh, no, 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 please, please. We have enough zapping for one day, all right? I want them to you here. I want them. Bring me those four humans. Oh, and the rat. Don't forget the rat. And the dog. <laughs> Oh, it's right. You really did it this time, Cool. Everybody, look for an exit sign. But what about the time machine? One thing at a time, Cuppers. Let's save us first. After the humans. After that. Where do we go now, Fonz? How should I know? Uh, oh, excuse me. Could you direct us to the exit? That way. Thank you so much. Humans. The humans are escaping. <laughs> One to the surface is a Krolak. It won't open. It won't open. All right, now everybody lend a hand and push. Push your little hearts out. They're coming. It's open. Sunlight. No. Close the doors. Looks like you saved us, cool old pal. <laughs> Fonzie, friends, you're safe. You're right, but the Krolaks still have our time machine. We're gonna have to do something about that. Can't we do it tomorrow, Fonz? I've had enough excitement for one day. You think today was exciting, my friend? Wait until tonight. <laughs> to the city! You told me the field would be down! And it will be, as soon as you promise me to take only the strangers and Ilona. You have the word of the Krolak! Then welcome to the city! <laughs> the city is ours! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it, Rich. With any luck, it's the dinner I ordered. Ah! Oh, thanks! Who was it, Ralph? 
Trust me, Rich. You don't want to know. But I can't stop you from guessing. Bye, Bye. <laughs> in our room. Really, Fonz, a Krolak. I know, Mal. Two of them are just getting away with Cupcake and Ilona. Fonzie, help! Oh, no. We got to save them. You mean go after the Krolaks? It's only fair, Ralph. They saved us. Fair is one thing, Rich. Stupid is another. Come on. Not again. If I ever get my hands free, you're going to get such a zap. <laughs> They're just up ahead. Hurry! So what have we here? Weak human females? Weak human females? You've obviously never heard of women's lib. Okay, pal, the game's over. You want to push somebody around? How about trying it with us? Him. Try it with him. Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. Ah! Now we'll have them all! Grab them! Fonzie! The Krolux! Run! My hands are free! I can zap like I've never zapped before! Fonzie, watch out! I see the Krolax, Cunningham. No, I mean watch out for Cupcake. Look! Don't worry, guys! I know exactly what I'm doing! I don't believe it! She shrunk the time machine! Is that how it was supposed to work? Not exactly. Are you all right? I'm real sorry, Fonzie. Hey, don't worry about a thing, Cuppers. Now it's pocket size. So we can take it out with us. Good work, Cupcake. They couldn't get along without me, you know. They must start a steam. Bring me the one called Fonzie. Sorry, big fella, but I'm not up for grabs. Now's our chance. Head for the surface. <laughs> so, you escaped again. Well, you won't escape from me. I really don't advise that controller, you see. I don't like people threatening me, that's one. And I especially don't like people touching my leather. Yoink. You will not escape from the control. I don't believe it. Me neither. The controller was a robot! Fonzie, you have saved my people from the Krolax. Not to mention from that controller creep. Those Krolax are still down there, you know? But the entrance is sealed up and they won't be bothering you again. Now, if we can just get our time machine back to size, we can try for 1957. Yo! Don't worry, Ralph. It'll just zap back to size by itself. Probably when we least expect it. <laughs> You better do something quick about this, Cuppers, or you're going to get a Fonzarelli zap when you most expect it. Jump Jupiter!
can imagine in the future, giant robot-controlled warriors will protect the planet Earth. Starion! The Starion Wasters and Cosmeter, each sold separately. Wasters! Help, Cosmeter! Uh-oh! It's the Cosmeter! Cosmeter, batteries not included. A remote control Starion that you can control. Activate the Wasters Force Studio! Fire disc! The Wasters and Cosmeter, each sold separately with its own comic book. Part of the Starion's collection. New from Tomy. Something's coming up the plumbing for Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles out to get him, creepy crabs are right behind. Spider flies, deeper shites, they're all coming out the pie. It's Mario Brothers, the new video cartridge from Atari. Console sold separately and hooked up by an adult. With Mario from Donkey Kong and his brother Luigi using their heads to stay ahead. It's twice the fun when two play at once, because you need all the help you can get. Oh, no, no, no. Mario Brothers, the Atari video game cartridge. Versions available for all Atari systems. Console sold separately. The army thingamajig is, right, Laverne? Satellite, Beanie. Ugh. You are monitoring important military equipment. Act like you know what you're doing. Yeah, Cheryl. If you don't want to displease the pig, learn the term. Oh, look. That bouncing blippy ball has gone berserk. What have you two monitoring misfit sabotage now? Do something, Laverne. That harsh noise is hurting my ears. That military satellite is malfunctioning. Execute the appropriate response, Abrazio. I don't know, beans from malfunctioning satellites. Give me a hand, Squealy. <laughs> now that's a clever little lever. <laughs> I don't think Squealy's dealing well with this emergency, Laverne. Whoa! Somebody stop me! What's the meaning of this, soldier? We have a satellite emergency on our hands here. Yes, sir. We're on top of the situation, sir. Hey, what's the scoop with that wacky satellite anyway? It crashed high in a mysterious mountain range of Upper Saxonia. Upper Saxonia? Upper Saxonia. A cloud-shrouded, unexplored region where many ill-fated adventurers have disappeared. And forever. Forever? Yeah. That satellite's top secret military equipment. Your mission is to bring it back before some enemy finds it. Yes, sir. We'll embark on the search and recovery mission right away, sir. No way. Sounds more to me like a search and disappear mission. Count me out, Squealy. Be tooth. Then again, Upper Saxonia has probably got a lot more going for it than the stockade, Cheryl. Move it out on the double. It came from the sky, but it is not a meteor. No, this is man-made. It is a fire. But what is it, my lord? Perhaps a clock, or a compass, or some kind of battle ball. Take it to the castle, and keep your eye out for intruders. Perhaps this strange object will help in my conquest of the modern world. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Laverne. Hey, Squealy! Isn't there an easier way to get to Upper Saxonia? You know, like an army chopper or an elevator? Lay off the talk, Fazio, and concentrate on gaining ground. <coughs> Ow! Stop it! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> Yo! Whoa! Uh, your ledge, huh? Whoa! This is not my idea of a swing in high old times, Wheelie. We'll have to deal harshly with these intruders if they are so bold as to enter our secret realm. Hang tough, Juberettes. The pig pulls through again. Yeah. Lucky for us, you didn't pull us through the air right smack to the bottom of this cliff. On your feet, recruits. Our mission has only just started. 
Wheelie, we need time to freshen up. You never know what kind of company we'll run into up here. Would you believe a company of weird soldiers, Cheryl? You dare enter the realm of the Dark Knight? Uh, daring isn't exactly our strong point. Just watch how you talk to this U.S. Army secret detail foot soldier. You outdated troop is better shape up. That gear you're wearing is as old as the hill. A real, bona fide, genuine pig. That's correct. A commanding pig. But it's sir to you motley troops. Yes, sire. A commanding pig. Venture no further on foot, sire. We will carry the news of your arrival to the Dark Knight. What's with these characters? Bowing to a pig? And who's this Dark Knight? You got me. You sure put him in their place, Squealy? That does it should be. Learn from it. When the pig speaks, the troops listen. We've got a secret satellite to find. So listen up. Move it up. You're certain it was a pig? A commanding pig? Positive, my lord. With two women? At last, the legend is being fulfilled. A soldierly pig will come to command the armies, and the Dark Knight will conquer the world. Ha, ha, ha. We must welcome the mythic pig. This forest is creepy, Squealy. Let's head back. Ha, ha, ha. No way. We're getting closer to the satellite, soldierinas. The detective beeps getting louder. Check out that route, search troops. We'll regroup down the line. The satellite search is a drag. I'd rather be entertaining the troops, you know, those cute, out-of-date soldiers. Love Bird, don't be so forward. We don't even know those guys. You're right, Cheryl, but I have a hunch we're about to. We'd better say something to them. Help! Could have sworn I heard them trooperettes. Climb upon the military chair of honor, Commanding Pete. And just who do you think you are? Your big excellency, I am the Dark Knight. Howdy, soldier. Let me see. Dear, dear devil, dog. Hey! That's my army manual you're debating, recruit. Get hold of yourself. It is true. You are a most powerful and valiant pig. Be seated, sire. Your motor pulls behind the time, soldier. But, uh, serviceable. Help! What's this? My trooperettes captured by enemy commandos? Hold that wagon! Stop this chair! Release my recruits now! Hey, that's an order! Of course, Exodian legend speaks of a mythic soldier pig, but nowhere does it mention women soldiers, Excellency! Soldier, you are out of line, out of your depth, and out of date! We're on an official U.S. of A mission! Stop! How rude! Just throwing us in this filthy work detail like common criminals! I agree, and he proved. Having grapes between my toes really doesn't do it to me. Yes! We've got to figure a way out of here, Laverne. That's a cinch. All we got to do is get by that bruiser over there. Hey, what's the big rush, Cheryl? Slow it down, you two. Keep running! Faster! Look, get him! In here! With us, Laverne! Stop that running! Whoa! Stop! We made it, Cheryl. Terrific plan. You do look a mess, Laverne. So who's talking? Little Miss Squash Grape herself. Let's get out of here. I refuse to stay in your fancy barracks, soldier. I know you have our military satellite somewhere in this castle. Ah, you mean the machine that fell from the sky? Satellite, you backward barbarian. Hand it over and release my troops before I put all of Upper Saxonia on report. Only if you become my brigadier general. Now that's treason, Tin Man. You're in deep trouble with that one. Sire, you must fulfill the legend and lead my armies to total victory. Me? A traitor? Against the U.S. of A? Ha ha ha! Never! I will win you over, proud pig. There's no confining this pig in an enemy stronghold. My mission is clear. My duty unshaken. Yeah! Not quite according to plan. How can these people live this way? What can I say? They're primitive, uncouth, without class. I mean, really. The whole place is like a barn. It even smells like one. Horses, Laverne. 
It's our way out of here. It's also their way in here. You know those thugs in miniskirts and tights? Let's not lose our heads, Laverne. I have an idea how we can sneak out of here. I must retrieve that U.S. of A top secret military satellite before that dark knight examines it and learns its scientific secrets. I'm getting warmer. <laughs> As you were, recruit, my mission is urgent. Let me pass. You must return to the luxury of your tower chamber, pig sire, sir. Your answer to the top breath? For your insubordination, soldier. Whoa! <laughs> Lift, Laverne! Give me a break, Cheryl! I can hardly lift my own arms in this steel outfit! Now to sit up! Yo! Ah! Ah! Whoa, boy! How do you like that? We set up a getaway horse, and the pig piles on and makes off with it. Quick, Laverne, let's follow him out of here! Somebody's coming again! Let's make tracks! Troops retreat! Don't go out there! Now you tell us! <laughs> With those two recruits up at headquarters, never done. What's the occasion, Laverne? I don't know, but I got a feeling it's not a football game. Uh-oh, Cheryl. I don't like this. <laughs> That valiant pig is a great soldier. He escaped the tower and rescued his comrades. Challenge our valorous big worthy knight. We will test his bravery. That knight in shining armor is headed our way, Laverne. And I don't think he's bringing us flowers. Don't just sit there, Squealy. Say something. Judge! Whoa! your big cavalry cadet back to basic training for you. Excellent horsemanship, your magnificence. Enough of the flippin' flattery, night trooper. In the name of the U.S. Army, I command you to give us back our secret satellite. Half my kingdom is yours, commanding big, if you lend your military prowess to my loyal armies. Out of the question. Guards, return the fearless pig to the tower. Oh, no, you don't. You'll have to catch me first, enemy trooper. Stop that galloping pig, or... Yeah! I shall return. I will reclaim all U.S. property. The enemy lines are now clearly drawn. I have an idea that will win over the pig's allegiance. Pretty soon, he'll lead my armies. <laughs> now, this place has class. Much stiffier than that tub of grapes. Well, I'm not that crazy about it, but I am grateful these stuffed chairs were here to land on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm really not cut out to be a damsel in distress, Laverne. So we go for the tower escape bit. What do we got to lose? Only our lives, baby. That's all. This will definitely win over the heart of our commanding peak. My inventive genius serves me well. <laughs> now, to set this most charming and attractive trap. <laughs> I've heard of climbing the walls, but this is ridiculous. Just don't look down, Laverne. Whatever you do, don't look down. Uh-oh, Cheryl. I just looked down. I think we better start back up. Oh, no, the dark knight. Hurry, Laverne. Climb back up before he sees us. Whoa! Oh! Who goes there? Oh, it's just Laverne and me. Yeah, I just dropped in for our afternoon swim. Oh, Hulk in the name of the Dark Knight! Now the trap is set to lure that pig-headed commander. Why I'll bet that iron-clad cowards put my trooperettes in the tower. Fazio, Dini, open up! Are you in there? Ow! What's this? <laughs> A pigette? In distress? Ow! Do not be alarmed. A trained and true army pig will set you free. Ow! I'll be up there in two shakes of a pig's tail. Excellent. And yet pig has taken the bait. <laughs> I'll have that soldier pig in the palm of my hand. Ow! 
don't breathe another word there, Piggett. Squealy, Sir Squealy, will attend to this rescue mission. Oh. oh. <laughs> Never fear when the pig is near. <laughs> Over there, Laverne, through the wall. Oh, terrific, Cheryl. We just got out of the castle, and now we're going to escape back into it. Come on, Laverne, it's either this or squashing grapes again. I don't know, Cheryl. Something tells me I'd rather be a grape squasher than a drenched water rat. Don't be so negative, Laverne. See? The perfect escape route right here waiting for us. Looks like this dark night creep likes to tinker around a bit. Quite a bit. Just look at this whatchamacallit. That's an old-time cannonball tosser, Cheryl. A catapult. Well, it certainly could use a good dusting. Hi, Cheryl. Someone's coming. <laughs> the pig's extraordinary. It even has a commanding presence with females. Now, to reel in the lovesick pig. Hey, where you going, my romantic frontlet? Hum, 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 hum. Oh, I read you now. My little porkykins knows a secret escape route. Hum, 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 hum. I wonder what that creepy knight is up to, Laverne. You sure do notice fortress, my little tenderloin. I'm at your command. I'm like putty in your hands. Look at that, Laverne. I think it's piggy love. I'm looking, but I'm not believing. So, you like the little porker, eh, my piggy general? Hey, show some respect for the lady soldier, and I am not your piggy general. Oh, yes, you are, unless you want me to throw this sweet damsel of a piggette in the dungeon. Just try it, tin soldier. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. That satellite's U.S. Army property. You'll pay for being pig-headed. I'll destroy this contraption. Hold your tin pants on, fella. Shame on you, Dark Knight. You're handling stolen goods. You've got the satellite, Squealy. Grab the pork chop head and let's blow this joint. I think the pig-head and Squealy are so cute, Laverne. Yeah, looks like love at first going all right. Gods, gods! Up to them, gods! They went that way! At least they get precious. Hum, hum, hum! Those gods won't find us here. Make room for us! Hum, 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 hum! Piggettes, come back! About face! You've got some effect on her, Squealy. Yeah, pork lips. You sure drive them crazy. Oh, Piggett, wake up! Look sharp! <laughs> She's fainted! We've got to get her out of here, Laverne. Into the fresh air. But how? I've got an idea. Don't you budge from here. Be back in a jiffy. Laverne, what can we possibly do with that... that dirty gizmo? Catapult, Cheryl. This is our ticket out of here. Explain yourself, DeFazio. This poor Piggett needs oxygen fierce. You're not going anywhere. Quick! Jump on! I hope you know what you're doing, Laverne. The Dark Knight looks real annoyed. Do something, DeFazio. That's an order. Up, up, and away! No! What did you think of that launch, Cheryl? Great launch, but I'm a little concerned about our landing! It better be good, DeFazio. And the Piggett will do the rest. Where is she? Piggett! Oh, no! Piggett! There she is, Squealy. Um, 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 um. Oh, Piggett, you're safe. Well, wonders never cease. The pig's heart has really melted. He's hooked, Cheryl. Now, come on, Jing. Pig is hooked, all right. Now he'll serve my army as my Piggett machine will see to that. Machine? Wow! Piggett, stop! <laughs> oh, 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 oh.
That's correct, soldierette. And snap to it! Ah, uh, let's just calmly rethink this plan, Squealy. Commanding Pig, you cannot leave. A legend will be fulfilled. Either agree to be my Pigadier General, or... Or what? Or you're all going to have to learn how to fly fast. Oh, well, Squealy would be simply honored to lead you and your men. Absolutely. No problem at all. Look, you can even keep this old satellite as a bonus. No way. Sergeant Turnbuck was going to hear about this. Catch! <laughs> are in deep trouble. Court marshals, reprimands. And if we know Squealy, you guys will be very, very busy peeling potatoes. Keep your eyes on that monitor screen, Feeney. DeFazio, would you mind not chewing gum while on duty? And why do you two troubled troopers always behave like campfire girls? Grow up. Assume responsibility. Relax, would you, Squealy? Don't take it out on us. It's not our fault your piggette turned out to be just a mechanical Toy. Yeah, he's up a little. There are other piggettes in the sea, Squeal. Don't get personal, you two. An army pig has more to think about than a pig doll full of springs and gears. Sure, we know. Like what? Like keeping you two sappy soldierettes in line. That's what. Stay tuned for that flamboyant flyboy Roger Ramjet coming up next. And on December 4th, Father Knows Best will be here for a full hour at 3 p.m. Eastern on the Family Channel. Gunfire? It's blue. It's blueberry. And it stays soft, chew after chew. It's blueberry hubba bubba, with the great taste of plump blueberries. I want it. No! It's the blueberry baby. <laughs> now, he's the black and blueberry baby. Blueberry hubba bubba. Start soft, 